going on everybody i'm gonna try to make some more videos for you guys my last video got put in youtube jail so i don't know what happened then i'm gonna have to take it down and re-upload it so y'all can even watch it some people is able to see it but others aren't anyway we've been doing leaf cleanups doing mulch too so i brought the 128 and the cultivator see the attachment and i leave the weed eater attachment on it in case we need to you know then cans and the husqvarna 128 uh that ain't a 128 that's a freaking i use it as a vacuum i got the vacuum parts in the toolbox you know if you need a vacuum and of course the 770 echo i'm getting ready to buy a new blower to match this one it was 28 this morning, 26, 28. It fired right up. So did the Husqvarna. See him over there working. We got to clean. You see how nasty that sidewalk is through there? Got to get all the leaves off of it. Yeah, got to get all the leaves down all the way through that little gully clean it up we done been scooping with the shovel them old nasty berries from them trees right there and we got all that done we done done some more properties this morning it's 9 30 right now and them berries did not want to come out of that can oh it stinks so freaking bad but anyway i got the my big boy and yes i'm still loving this echo it cranks right up it's comfortable the anti-vibe i don't know if i'm going to get up my local husqvarna dealer quit selling husqvarna so there's another one in dryden and i asked them if they had a mechanic and they did i was making sure they in service but then she said she might not carry them that long but she said her husband will make her so i was going to get a 580 that day that day and then I decided not to. So I might be getting what I don't want, a BR700. And I love steel, but I hate the noise. Four mix sounds good in a weed eater. A 90R, 110, 111, 91, 130, 131, 111, 110, one blah, blah. But if four strokes don't sound good in a backpack, it's so loud. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. So I might be getting a BR700 because if I ain't going to have no Husqvarna support here, I'm not going to buy Husqvarna. You know what I mean? So anyway, let's get to it. He's still probably wondering what the frick I'm doing over here. So I will be back in a second.
we're finally done. I put the, that's the Husqvarna. Put the vacuum on it. It's not warmed up yet. He just now cranked it. So don't think it sounds weird. It's just because it ain't warmed up. See, we made a pile up here to make it easier. And then he's just up there sucking it up. Easy peasy. All we got to do now is scrape up some chunks like that. Look how clean. We got that big old paw. Mm -hmm. And we're done with this one. It took us a long time, about an hour. Because we do around behind this building. This place is huge. That's what she said. Oh. But anyway, he's vacuuming. Right here's the spout to do as a leaf blower. That's the only reason I bought this thing was for a vacuum. I needed another leaf blower. That thing's getting wore out. But I wanted a vacuum. I got a pole in one. It works pretty good, but it's, I want something more reliable. So I bought that Husqvarna. I forgot the numbers on it. I showed it in an older video if you're interested. And like I said in the last video, it's either a 580 BT or a Steel 700. And there's the Echo. Oh, that Echo's so comfortable. I swear it's the most comfortable backpack blower. I mean, look at that meat. Look at that meat. So comfortable, but I didn't put that plug in, so it's blowing on my back. I think he's done. <laughs>